Uh, the Greater Manchester Kidney Information Network is a, it's an information platform uh, where patients can access information that they want at a time when they need it, um, rather being provided with um, a whole host of information at a time when they're not quite ready to, to manage that information. So they can seek out information that they need. Um, but they can also join a social network platform that actually they can ask questions that where the information isn't answering what they really want to know. So more they can ask questions to other patients and gain more information that's realistic about life living with chronic kidney disease rather than what clinicians might tell you of how to best manage the, the treatment. Um, so it's more about how you adapt the treatment to self-manage your own condition um, and that's what we created the platform for and that's what the information network seems to um, provide. All we've done is something that's natural, uh, providing information to people, putting people together and the patients themselves have created the innovation of the network. Um, we've, just we've just provided the vehicle for them to do that. Um, Hope Kidney Patient uh, Association approached us. They wanted to develop a website and a resource, an informational resource for uh, renal patients in um, um, Greater Manchester. We actually went beyond just developing uh, a website. Um, we um, looked at developing a, a, an informational hub, which will actually enable um, patients to post their own experiences and, and, and comment. Loosely it's a peer-to-peer -peer support network um, by patients for patients uh, based around uh, social media services such as Facebook and Twitter and there's a central hub which is the GMKIN website. I think as well one of the things we've, we've tried to focus on is not just the clinical aspects of um, people living with kidney disease. We've, we've also tried to um, highlight people just living normal lives. You know, kidney disease is certainly life changing, but it's not life ending. So that's one of the um, sort of key messages. It, it's not something we promote um, explicitly, but it's one of the things we try to encourage in, in this day and age when um, patient activation, um, when um, um, shared care, um, changing behaviour at, 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 at uh, the top of the healthcare agenda, I think social media has an important role to play and um, we um, demonstrated to, to, through um, the research on GMKIN that um, uh, it contributes to uh, positive health and social outcomes. Um, patients involved in GMKIN GM reported an increase in self-efficacy, self-confidence, um, and <coughs> better management of the condition. And some even indicated that uh, they are keen to get back into full-time employment. I personally feel empowered by what's happened in the past three or four years we've been working on it and I know that's true of other patients as well. Um, we have several patients who have begun to re-engage with the kidney community so we're, we're now starting to see people doing what I do, looking to get more involved in supporting other patients and that's not just within GMKIN, it, it's, it's outside of that project as well. GMKIN is a a part of 21st century healthcare. The, the, the information um, shared on, on GMK and, and especially um, around how to live with the condition um, was uh, an important factor in patients returning to, to GMK and on that continuous engagement with the medium. And um, also it triggered um, an increase in self-efficacy because what um, patients reported in, 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 in my research was that by seeing how others are living with the condition, it made them understand that it's not just me. I think the award um, was a, a recognition of how far we've come. 
and a relatively short space of time. Um, on a personal level, it felt like me marking my name on a signpost as to how far I'd personally come. But I think it also signposts the future. And the future, as far as we're concerned, is, as Christina said, looking to focus on re-engaging kidney patients with the normal world. I personally, I believe that uh, we should take small steps to achieve a greater change. I think from a patient perspective, uh, having a, a diagnosis of kidney failure and moving into uh, treatments such as dialysis um, frequently means the end of a working life, uh, especially people who don't have supportive employers. Um, it tends to affect people who are doing uh, some more manual tasks. They tend to be the ones who are um, almost punished because of having the disease. I was lucky I had a supportive em employer who and, and facilitated me f to work from home. I, I think what Christina's project will do is by opening up other patients to fundamentally what I, I've done in the past few years, um, learning how to use the website, provide content, that this will create a new skill for um, patients who feel totally um, separated from society. Having a job is a fundamental part of one's identity and I think if we can use this project again to help even if it's just a small number of patients I think it will be a huge achievement. To win the Innovation of Champion Award, uh, we were thrilled. We were really thrilled because it recognised it recognised the work that the patients were doing for each other, and it recognised the value of the network, which we saw from the beginning. But when from the beginning, trying to sell the concept to people and create a community out of nothing was really quite um, challenging. Um, and what we saw was the where it could lead us and what difference it could make. Um, and for some people it's had a massive difference on their lives. So to, to, for it to be recognised that it's, it's had that impact um, by winning the award, um, I think it's really good for the whole network to feel that what they're doing is something useful and that it make, it's making a difference. So I think that, that encourages people then to get involved in something, even if they maybe don't get a benefit for themselves immediately, what they're offering to other people is, is really of significant value. I mean, I, I used to say on numerous occasions that a network without people, it will not be a network. So GM Keen without the patient and, and the hard work of, and in determination to make it work of, Rob and, and the others, there will be no GM Kin. Um, and um, I think that the award we won recognizes the hard work of uh, patients and everyone involved in, in GM Kin. And, and I hope that uh, it will inspire others to um, move the concept in, in, in different fields, in other fields.